to use the calculator. All right, so here's what I mean. They want you to throw this in the calculator, even though you, can, you should be able to type this in the calculator. Log three, base three, what is my exponent? Over? What's my root? No, what's the root? Five. Five. You guys, you can't forget stuff. Okay, log, so if then I go to the calculator, because now they're saying I can use the calculator. Three, one, five, whoa. Activated the five. Oh, one, five. Oh, I know what I did, you guys. I, I typed the three and... <coughs> Why is it not letting me? Uh, let's see if I put it out here. Why is it not letting me? Yeah, why is it not letting me? Hold on. Yeah, why is it not letting me do that though? What am I doing wrong? Why is this calculator not cooperating? If I do that, it turns it into that. Maybe you have the space I, holder. I put, I put a space yeah, after the parentheses. <laughs> and then I put the fraction. Hold on. <laughs> I know, well, I'm, because it won't let me do it inside for some reason. Oh, Miss Kitty, it's because you have to click the exponent button, right? After the parentheses. After the parentheses. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> why, why, you guys? Okay, yes, now, oh my goodness, how do I not, how do I forget that? It's Monday. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's do it again, since I just kept... All right, log base three, right? Three the solution, hit the exponent. Why would I not hit that exponent? That is weird. One fifth, okay. Hit equal, and I get one fifth. Okay, um, but by the way, I know they're having you rewrite it, but you should have been able to still do I have a cube root here? Oh no, it's a fifth root. Um, five, three. We still get the same answer. Here, I have no problem typing that in for some reason, exponent. Um, right? So it still works with the root, with the radical. Okay, but you should have known it was one-fifth anyways because, look, see how the base and the solution are the same? Your argument, they're still the same, and so that's your one-fifth because if you were to rewrite this, I'll put an X here, okay? If I was to rewrite this into exponential form, if you guys remember, I tell you start with the base and kind of loop around, right? So three, right? to the x is equal to, right, 3 to the x is equal to, and then whatever the argument is, I mean, well, what's x? How do you make them equivalent? One-fifth, right? It would just be, so x is one-fifth. So if you even put it in exponential form, you should have been, even if we said, hey, no calculator, you should have been able to do it by rewriting it in into exponential form. Okay, um, if you're doing 10, log base 2, right? Okay, argument or the base is 4. What's my exponent? What is it? One third. One third. Okay, but you see your base is 2 and I have a 4. You could express it as, right, as a 2 base. But if you wanted to go straight to your calculator, you can just go straight to the calculator since you have that. Look at that. So easy. Okay, and you get what? 
two thirds, right? Oh, you can't see. Two thirds. All right, but if you wanted to rewrite that in exponential form, so let's rewrite this. Okay, I have a two. It's to the x exponent equal sign, and then here's my argument. So two to the x is equal to four to the one third. All right, you guys did same basis of solving for exponents. Can four get rewritten to match that two? What would it be? To what? Huh? That's eight. How many twos are in four, you guys? Two. Two. So, right? And so what's x equal to? Two thirds. So, yes, you can use a calculator, but if you're taking a test and they're saying, hey, no calculators, you should still be able to solve this by rewriting an exponential form and getting your like bases, which you guys have been doing in here. But I guess it's a title. Okay, let me turn this off. I forgot I was um, I was uh, recording.